In this example, we're going to learn how to create our own custom bill of material. To do that, let's go to the bill of material icon in the navigation bar, and then let's go to edit bill of material file. Here you get into the user tab. You have create new BOM selected, and you give it a name, and we'll call this uh, my BOM 2. And like that, you get the following window to pop up. First, I'm going to double click right underneath the definition here and I'm going to choose the first item I want. Maybe the first item I want has to do with the balloon number or index number that's going to be described. So we're going to go down here and go to find index and I'm going to call it um, number. It'll be a character string. We can start by this column if we want and say OK. Next I'm going to double click on the next new line underneath index and go find designation. And here I'm going to change designation to be description. It'll be a character string, the alignment will be left, the title alignment will be left. Maybe we want the title alignment to be centered. We'll say OK. Maybe this next one we want to be the uh, material. So let's go down and find material. Material works. I'm going to center that one as well. Say OK. And this last one maybe I'll make it as comment. And good enough. We'll center that too. So like that, I've created my own BOM. Let's go and uh, test it out. So here I'm going to first tile my windows. I happen to uh, have an assembly here, so I'm going to go ahead and generate an assembly view. So I'll go here, go to assembly, and I'm going to pick that document and say that, uh, you know what, I just want the isometric view like that. Smooth, I want it to be half intensity. Hidden lines, I want it to be hidden. We'll say OK. Let's maybe make it two to one, pop it right there, and let's go ahead and insert our title box, or our, uh, pardon me, our bill of material. So we'll go insert a bill of material, go to user, go to find my BOM2, say OK. Here I'll choose my assembly. It'll just be a simple flat bill of material between that point and that point. Like that, you can see the materials used, the description, the number, the comments. Comments are empty right now. If we go to auto index and select it, we have our items ballooned. If I go back and tile, because maybe I want to add a comment into here just to show you another way to work, let's go find my uh, base plate. So here's my base plate. If I go into here and go to characteristics, we can come in here and add a comment. Uh, for example, go to Properties, New BOM, Comment, go to My Value, double click, and my value is going to be um, Buy More Top Solid. We'll say OK. Hmm, nice. And I have a bug in mine. This has to do with top solid wood. So if you're a wood user, you have a bug. If you're not, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the comment section will come back into here. Um, 